Maureen Otito Nibuchuku, and I am the owner, founder, and CEO of Imperfectly Her Boutique slash brand. Um, this is something that I began in April of this year, during the pandemic, actually. Um, it was a idea that came up because I'm someone who believes in having multiple streams of income. And um, I'm also a student at Towson University, a junior. Um, and I, like I said, I believe in having multiple streams of income. And I wanted something that would speak to me as an individual and something where I can influence the lives of other people. So it is a fashion boutique for women, um, but my focus is more than just clothing. My focus is building overall confidence on the inside and out. Um, just wanting to make sure that, you know, you love not just who you are, but what you're wearing and how it makes you feel. Um, so yeah, so becoming an entrepreneur in the pandemic was not easy. Um, this was a complete world different than what I was used to. Um, it required a lot, a lot, a lot of research, um, a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of personal research on just trying to figure out the best way to, you know, make my business official, whether to get trademarked, whether to go in and say, okay, do you want to be a sole proprietorship? Do you want to be an LLC? Um, it was a lot of back and forth and trying to figure out how to do this. Um, I am basically a one woman show at one point. I did get some help from friends, mentors, advisors, and they really did help. But for the most part, I'm a one woman show. Um, so I do my own marketing. Um, I work on my own campaigns and stuff like that. Um, but we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Um, so yeah, so in starting my business, the things that, when I picked my industry, I knew that I wanted it to be something that was hot and popping, something that I knew that would really inf influence the masses. Um, and yeah, so that's why I chose fashion. Me, myself, personally, I didn't always have the highest confidence. So I thought that it would be something really cool to be growing with my brand. Um, so yeah, fast forward to right now. Um, some wins that I've had in my business was within the first week of launching, I launched on September 21st this year. Um, I launched the logo in July, but I opened up the official website in September. I was able to make $1,000 within the first week in sales, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, one thing I will say is that at first, you know, within the $1,000 that I made at first, the first day, I didn't even make that many sales, and I was so discouraged. But one thing that you always have to keep in mind is that although things may not seem the way you want them to be at first, be patient and wait on God and the vision he has for you. And honestly speaking, things will work themselves out. Um, so yeah, within the first week, I made $1,000. That's a win. Um, and But you know, with great responsibility comes, um, you know, you have to come, you have to step up to the plate. You have to be able to keep track of all the orders, you have to be able to make sure everything is packaged properly. Um, so that wasn't that easy. So I did have some friends help out with that. Um, in terms of creating my own stuff, I do create like my own marketing and everything, but I do purchase from another vendor and things like that. Um, but yeah, so that was basically how that went. Fast forward to now, I'm basically in the process of rebranding. And now I have more people on my team. One thing I will tell you is that while being a one person show is amazing because you get to control how everything goes, sometimes it's okay to ask for a little bit of help. And now I'm in a space where I have a graphic designer who assists me with a lot of the back end things that I don't have the time to do. Being that I am a student, I work, <laughs> you know, this is a part, my business is part time, but I'm a full time student, you know, so it's not easy. So it's, always helpful to have some help and I always tell you to definitely reach out to who you know or you know hire some people to help you um so like I said I'm in a rebranding phase and you guys are the first to hear it um I will be changing the name of Imperfectly Her mainly because I wanted it to be more of me hint hint the new name will be the more collection um it comes from my name and my mother's name because both of us are named Maureen so the M-A-U-R-E and I wanted to change the brand a little bit 
because I have some bigger plans for the brand. As I mentioned before, it's more than just a clothing brand. I also just want it to be a brand that empowers women and shows the power of faith um, through just knowing that you can be anything you achieve, you want to achieve. You can be any person. I'm a student. I'm a hard worker. I'm also a daughter. I am a business owner. I wear a lot of different hats and I believe that you can achieve any life you want to achieve through faith. So that is what the brand, um, the new brand will stand for. The idea that you can achieve the life of luxury and happiness that you want through faith. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be repetitive, but yeah, y'all. Y'all getting the raw and cut version of me right now. I'm in the middle finals, so I'm tired. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's a quick summary of just what Imperfectly Her is as a brand um, and basically my journey so far in being an entrepreneur. I love being my own boss. I love being able to come up with different marketing campaigns. I love being able to really influence the masses. Um, it's not easy that, like I said, I keep saying it because it's not, but with a lot of hard work, it's definitely possible. Um, I will say that this journey has been one of growth, um, hence the name change, hence the rebranding, because as I'm growing, I believe that my brand is something that should grow along with me. Um, and Perfectly Her is amazing. I love the name, but I think that the more collection will definitely fit where I am planning to go with the brand overall and all the extra entities that will come along so you guys have to stay tuned for that there will be more <laughs> and the more collection um but yeah so honestly if to all my entrepreneurs or student entrepreneurs out there just keep fighting keep going you know you may not get a thousand dollar week or you but you may get a thousand dollar day like honestly just keep fighting and going towards the vision that god has placed in your heart do not allow you know comparison to come in and take that away from you I know that I struggled with looking at other brands and I seen how they were growing and and I, I didn't have that many followers or I didn't have that many orders but the reality is you know slow and steady really does win the race taking the time to really work on your brand and keep fighting for your brand you just never know where it'll go um so yeah I guess another one that I will definitely say that has been in my business is all the tremendous support and love that it's received. Honestly, um, if any of my supporters are watching this right now, I just want to say thank you for always being there and for assisting in whatever purchase you may have made. But yeah, I think that that is all I have to say. Um, you can reach out to me at any time. Um, by my social medias and my emails will be posted. So you'll be able to contact me if you have any questions or you need any assistance whatsoever. I would love to give any assistance um, needed, whether it's through marketing or if you need ideas or if you need help in terms of like the back end work, like all the different co contracts, Ooh. all the different contracts or um, just getting legalized or anything like that. I can definitely give a huge assistance to you free of charge, just let me know. So exactly how do I manage being an entrepreneur, being a part-time worker, um, being a full-time student, and just everything else that goes on in my life? Well, my planner is my best friend. I have a planner that I use very often. I try to use it to plan out what I'm gonna do next. And even if I don't hit every task, knowing that I can mark some of those things off my list makes me feel very fulfilled and makes me feel like I've been productive for the day. Um, it's not easy, like I always like have said, and I've emphasized throughout this whole thing, but it is doable. Um, I believe that with prayer, faith, you know, exercise, continuously being on task, it, it's definitely doable because I really do emphasize like maintaining your health in all of this because health is really wealth. Like if you can't, you can't do anything if you don't feel good. So I think it's very important to make sure that you are organized, that you have all your classes, everything that you have to do written down as well as setting out hours, I say hours, days for the business as well because Rome was not built in a day. It does not take a day to say, okay, let me just do all the work right now and be done, no. You have to plan things out and make sure everything is appropriately getting the hours that it deserves. 
Um, so in terms of what I'm doing as a student, um, right now, my major is health education and promotion. I will be graduating a little bit early um, in the fall of this year, of next year. Um, and my major is health education and promotion with a minor in entrepreneurship. Um, it's not easy just because it's like a completely different field than what I'm doing right now. But I ultimately plan to go on to get a doctorate in nursing and basically just work as um, a nurse anesthesiologist or as a general nurse family practitioner. So one of the two, I'm still trying to figure that out along the way, I'm not really pinpointing it just yet, but you know, wherever God takes me. Um, my mentors have definitely been a humongous help. I know I've mentioned that before, but it's very imperative to have some, somebody who has been there or who has gone through the same paths of you as you to help you really navigate your own path. Now, I'm not saying your path and your mentor's path will be the exact same because everyone's cut from a different cloth, but I do believe having someone there to not only encourage you, to give you advice, can save you a lot of trouble that may come along or some obstacles, navigating the obstacles that may come along when you're starting a business or just when you're going through daily life. Um, just having someone to let you know that, hey, I see you and you're doing great, it definitely helps. Going back to when Towson sent um, students home and how I kind of came up with this whole idea um, in about in March, I believe. You know, at first I lived on campus and th that was a complete disaster to me because I had these big plans for the year. Originally, you know, my brand was supposed to be a blog. blog. Um, while it still has the blog aspect and I'm really going to show that in the rebrand, um, you know, it was just a whole thing for me. Like, I just didn't know what to do at that point. But when I went home, I said, you know what? I cannot just sit here and just do work and do nothing. And that's when the whole idea of starting this brand and starting a business came about because I wanted to not only keep busy, but I wanted to impact the masses, make a difference, do something in which I'm not just sitting there and being depressed. Um, so yeah, it definitely, met, when, I, when we went home, it definitely made me feel very discouraged but when I prayed over it and I just came up with this idea for this business it gave me something to look forward to and I believe that's what business should be it shouldn't be something that's just for the money it should be something that gives you something to look forward to something in which where you can impact the lives of other people and not just your pockets um but yeah I think that you know if you have an idea if you have a vision you know don't just give up on it. Like I said, really just hind in on it. Do your research. Research is a really, really big thing. Like I will not tell you to go into any industry that you don't have any idea about, because honestly speaking, it won't be easy. You literally, when you come up with this vision or you come up with this idea, you need to create a game plan, a business plan, particularly really figuring out exactly what you want to do, how you're going to do it, what your audience is, and how that would really impact them. I believe that it's very important when you solve a problem. Whenever you're starting a business, always think about what problem am I solving or what audience am I tailoring to? It makes it so much easier to really tap in and get to know the people that you're, you want to work with when you know exactly where to find them. Um, so yeah, you know, we could talk more, reach out to me <laughs> and we can definitely talk more about this and just figuring out your overall brand identity if you are an entrepreneur that's struggling with that or any other thing. Um, but yeah, I think that I got everything y'all need to know for now. Stay tuned for the rebrand. Thank you so much for listening and have an amazing day. My name is Maureen Otito Onyebuchuku. I am the owner, founder, and CEO of Imperfectly Her Boutique that will become the More Collection brand. Um, you can reach me on my Instagram handles or my personal or business emails that will be featured down below.